How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and today's video we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to root the ZTE Axon 7 which is a really really awesome device. We're going to install a torque recovery and root it. Now first prerequisite you got to understand is you have to have an unlocked bootloader and I'm not going to cover that in this video but I'll definitely link to the video you need right up here um, on the process to go ahead and unlock the bootloader on the ZTE Axon 7. But this is one awesome device, and I'm excited to go ahead and root it. Let's do this. All right, let's get into the process here. So here's my Axion 7, and uh, we got to get this thing into uh, bootloader mode. So remember, you got to have an unlocked bootloader first for this to function. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. So I'm going to power it off, and we're going to hold volume down and power. And this should go ahead and put us into bootloader mode. Uh, just takes a second. So there you go. You can see that um, the device up here has a bunch of options. So uh, it says options menu. We're just going to go down here to where it says fast boot and hit uh, power to select fast boot. And this is going to put us into fast boot. So at this point, go ahead and take your USB cable and plug it in. This is USB type C on this device and we should be good to go. You can see uh, just to double check that you do have an unlocked bootloader so you can do this root process. You can see right here it says uh, device state is unlocked. That's what it needs to say for this to function. Alright so we're in bootloader mode. Let's go over to our computer and run some commands. Alright guys so here we are on the computer. If you um, followed the bootloader unlocked video you'll have the ADB files you need so definitely watch that one. Um, otherwise you're gonna download this file and this super uh, super su file right here. Okay, you can also do a DM verify option if you prefer. I'll link you to some posts about this on XDA. It's actually right here, so I'll link you to this, and it'll explain all that for you. But we're gonna go ahead and do this root method pretty quickly here. So here is the files. Um, here's my files I've got right here, here, and here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, copy these over into my ADB and Fastboot folder which is the unlock bootloader folder which you saw from the previous video. There we go. And then we're just gonna hold shift on our computer, right click, open command window here. And then we're gonna type in some commands. First one's gonna be fastboot devices. And if it comes back with a number and says fastboot, that means your drivers are functioning correctly. Everything is communicating from the phone to the computer. So we're now going to go ahead and flash torp recovery. So fast boot flash recovery space. So fast boot space flash space recovery. And then the easiest thing to do is just take the file and drag it in and hit enter. And there you go. You flashed recovery. So we're going to come back to the device really quick over here. And we're going to do... So it says volume key to select. Interesting. So there you go. So volume down a couple times and it says recovery at the top. So now hit uh, power. And that's going to go ahead and put the device into um, recovery, which should be, oh, this is the bootloader warning logo right there. Recovery, which should be twerp recovery for this device. And then basically all we're going to do from here is push twerp over to the device and then do the flash. Really simple, really simple, easy to do, very easy to do. So here you go, the device is booting up. Um, and basically, right here it asks you if you want to allow modifications. So just be aware that once you swipe this, you have to either flash uh, Super Su or the DM Verify or else it won't boot up. So just, just be aware that's what you're going to have to do with the device. It's kind of, kind of confusing, but make sure you know that. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe across. And then what I'm going to do, this should have connected to my device on my computer. Let's see if it did. So I'm going to go ahead and take this super SU file right here and copy. I'm just going to go ahead and see. Yeah, there it is. And I'm just going to place it on my SD card, paste, with all my other files. There we go. And that just basically copied it over to the SD card. So we're actually done on the computer. Everything else can be done from the phone. So here you go, we're at the phone. So basically there's a couple things you're gonna wanna do. The first thing you always should do is you should come in here and do a backup and select everything that you wanna back up. I don't need a system image. Cache, modems, Bluetooth, EFS, probably all that. 
um, and go ahead and swipe across and do a backup of your device. I'm actually not going to do that um, on my device here just because I know how to restore it if it's an issue. So we're just going to go straight into the root process. So from here, basically all you got to do is come into installs um, and then I'm going to go to, where is it at? Select storage, micro SD, hit OK. And then you can see right here, this is my micro SD. So I'm going to select that file right there, which is the Super SU. And I'm just going to swipe across to flash Super SU. This is going to root the device and uh, should finish this process. Once this is all set and complete, you will have Torque Recovery permanently installed in your device. You will have root with Super SU by flashing it in Twerp here and you'll be able to run all your cool root applications. And then if you want, once you have Twerp, you can install custom ROMs and do all kinds of cool stuff. So um, this shouldn't take too long. It's a very quick process. Let's just let it finish. All right, there you go. It says it's done, unmounting system, done, update partition details, everything looks good. So we're just gonna go ahead, oh, here's port notice. First reboot may take a while, no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, reboot system. And then this says some interesting things here. Would you like to install official app? So that's kind of cool. So it looks like you can install the official Twerp app. Um, install as a system app. Prompt to install Twerp app. If not installed, install the system app. You know, I'm going to do it. Just go for it. So you don't have to. It's up to you. Um, that option is, you know, optional there. So we're going to let this thing boot up. It shouldn't take too long here to boot. So I'm pretty excited to check this thing out and uh, see if we get Twerp running smoothly. So I'm going to go ahead and let it boot, and I'll come back to it as soon as it does boot up. At this point, you can unplug your cable, though. We don't need that anymore. So as you can see, the device just did a reboot. I think that's normal with Twerp, that it'll do maybe one or two boot loops before it actually fully boots. That's part of the patching process that it's doing when it's achieving root access. So just be aware that that is going to happen. Okay, well, that actually wasn't too long. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe up. You can see that we did boot up just fine. No issues here at all. And uh, let's go into our app drawer. This thing is stock. I didn't wipe data factory set to do this part. You definitely end up wipe data factory setting when you're doing the unlock bootloader. But when you flash twerp and super SU, you, you don't have to um, do that. So you can see we have super SU right here. And I'm an expert, so I really don't need a tutorial. No, thank you. And there you go. There is the application. And you are rocking it. That's it. Root access on the ZTE Axon 7. Torp recovery installed. Hope you guys like this video. Definitely stay tuned for more on this device. If you have anything you'd like me to specifically cover, maybe a ROM review, I definitely want to do that. And I'm actually thinking about using this thing as my daily driver. It looks sick, and I like these front-facing speakers for sure. The bezels are super thin, so I may do that. We'll see. Um, that's going to wrap it up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Root Junkie, out.